Uncle Billy is at the bank and is filling out a deposit slip at one of the desks. December 24. He takes a thick envelope from his inside pocket and thumbs through the bills. Eight thousand. Potter is being wheeled in by his goon. Various bank officials run over to greet him while he is reading a newspaper. Well, good morning, Mr. Potter. What's the news? Ooh, well, well, well. Harry Bailey wins Congressional Medal. That wouldn't be one of the Bailey boys. You just can't keep those Baileys down. Now can you, Mr. Potter? How does Slacker George feel about that? Mm, very jealous, very jealous. He only lost three buttons off of his vest. <laughs> Of course, Slacker George would have gotten two of these medals if he had gone. That air. Yes. After all, Potter, some people like George had to stay at home. Not every heel was in Germany and Japan. <laughs> Uncle Billy folds Potter's paper and thrusts it back at him. In a cold rage, Potter grabs his paper and is wheeled off by his goon toward his office. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Bailey. Good morning, Horace. Well, I guess you forgot something. Huh? You forgot something. What? Well, aren't you going to make a deposit? Oh, sure, sure I am. <laughs> well, then it's usually customary to bring the money with you. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I know I, uh, 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 uh. Uncle Billy searches through all of his pockets but can't find the money. Horace, knowing of the old man's forgetfulness, points to one of the numerous strings tied around Uncle Billy's fingers. How about that finger there? <laughs> Potter is now seated behind his desk. He spreads the newspaper out in front of him. sees the envelope and looks inside at the money. Take me back there. Hurry up. Come on, look sharp. Potter opens his office door just a little and peers through into the bank. He sees Uncle Billy looking around for the money envelope with increasing panic even looking into the waste paper basket on the floor. Uncle Billy finally rushes through the door and out onto the street. Back. Uncle Billy runs across the street in the direction of the building and loan. Just make yourself at home, Mr. Carter. I'll get those books for you. Oh, hello, boy. George, can I see you for a second? Why, of course you can. Come on in the office here. Uncle Billy, talk to Harry. He's on the telephone. Harry, Uncle Billy, Harry. Long distance, Washington. Hey, here's Harry on the phone. You know, your nephew, remember Harry? Oh, here he is. Hurry up. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, y y yes, Harry? Yes, uh, everything, uh, everything's fine. I, I should have my head examined. Eight thousand dollars, it's got to be somewhere. George and Violet are in George's office. He has just finished writing something and is slipping the paper into an envelope. Character. If I had any character, well, no, I'd... It takes a lot of character to leave your hometown and start all over again. Here. No, George, No, don't. here now. You're broke, aren't you? I, I, I know, but... Well, what do you want to do? Hawk your furs and that hat? You want to walk to New York? You know what they charge for meals and rent up there? Just the same as they do in Bedford Falls. Yeah, sure. No, no, it's a loan now. That's my business, building a loan. Besides... You'll get a good job. Good luck to you. 
I'm glad I know you, George Bailey. Say hello to New York for me. Yeah, yeah, sure I will. Let's hear from you once in a while. Violet sees the lipstick on George's cheek from where she kissed him and dabs it with a handkerchief. In the meantime, Carter has stepped out of the side office to witness this. What's the matter? Merry Christmas, Vi. Merry Christmas, George. Mr. Bailey. Oh, Mr. Carter, I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Is Uncle Billy in? Yeah, he's in his office. As George opens the door, he sees Uncle Billy frantically looking for the missing envelope. The office is a mess with drawers opened and papers scattered all over the floor and on the desk. Uncle, what's going on? The, the, the bank examiner's here and he... He's here? Well, yeah, yeah. He wants the accounts payable to... What's the matter with you? Come here. George comes striding out of Uncle Billy's office and goes directly to the safe. Then he goes to the cash drawer and the counter and looks through it. Eustace? Yeah? Come here a minute. Did you see Uncle Billy with any cash last night? He had it on his desk counting it before we closed up. Now look, did you buy anything? Nothing, not even a stick of gum. All right, all right. Now we'll go over every step you took since you left the house. Right, this way. As George and Uncle Billy continue their search down the street, Potter is peering through the slats of the Venetian blinds in his office watching them as they go. George and Uncle Billy are now back at Uncle Billy's house. They are in a shabby, old-fashioned gaslit room which has been turned inside out and upside down in an effort to locate the missing money. And did you put the envelope in your pocket? Yeah, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't want any maybes. We've got to find that money. No good to you, Uncle George. Billy, look. I, I, do you realize what's going to happen if we don't find it? My, uh, Listen to me. Do you have any uh, secret hiding place here in the house? Some place you would, some place you'd hide the money. I've gone over the whole house, even in rooms that have been locked since I lost Laura. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Think. Think. I can't think anymore, Thank George. You. I can't think anymore. It hurts. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? Where's that money? Do you realize what this means? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. That's what it means. One of us is going to jail. Well, it's not going to be me. Ha, 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 ha.